Okay guys, in this video, we're gonna check out an abandoned motel located just out of Eufaula, Alabama. This is a roadside find, and from what we could tell, it's been vacant and empty for a number of years. And I did find a photo of it when it was in, in uh, still open, I should say, so I will show that on the screen. But as we could tell though, it's uh, seen better days. Right here we do have a small but overgrown in-ground pool. And a little pond of sorts, which says this dock is for guest use only. So they possibly had swimming or fishing there. I don't think it's gonna be very interesting though because it looks like the rooms were pretty much stripped out. But we will take a peek inside and see. And you can tell it's pretty covered in mold here. Surprisingly, the plumbing's still here. So this one here has some decorative, I guess you could say stickers. You can see the wallpaper trim up there. We're headed into the main building now. This is where you would have checked in, but this looks like the owner's living quarters. Pretty typical of a small motel. They have their living area in the rear part of the building. I do like the tile work though. It's got some fruit pieces on there. And the building's not posted. There's an Alabama license plate. And nothing really stopping you from coming in here. Let's take a walk around here. And this looks like a little foyer area. Tiled floor. Windows aren't even smashed, surprisingly. But you can see the roof is rotted right there and heavily covered in mold. Obviously the patio doors are smashed. So let's continue our way through. And I'm surprised nobody took the pipes. So, okay, yeah, some thought I heard somebody. Okay, so we got like little rooms here with a shared bathroom. And here is coming up towards the front desk area. What's this? 2013 calendar, okay, so that puts it roughly six years since it was last in use, if we go by the calendar date. I'm guessing it was, I wanna say Arabic or Indian with this type of 
language here. That's probably the owner of it. Their uh, ethnicity or whatever you want to call it. Oh, look at. Yeah, here's an overhead shot. That's the same photo that I shared with you guys. So that's pretty cool. These are postcards. They even have some baby photos on the ground. Sri Krishna. Maybe Jewish owned, I don't know. Still got some keys hanging on there. And okay, well there's a 2016 calendar which would put this at being closed for only three years. So there's the check-in window where the on-duty person would collect payment and hand out the card keys or the door keys I should say. You can see the ground here is just littered. Lots of keys, cassette tapes, There's the key tags. This had those uh, old style, I should say original keys to open the doors, not the electronic swipe cards. There's a, uh, I guess for the rooms, the answering system and a set of alarms and everything that Colomatic bags full of keys here Some other documents yeah, another 2016 calendar so I guess we could date this being closed for three years approximately So like a little maintenance room or something. Got a newspaper here, 2015. This is probably the manager's office. There's a camera up there. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like they got a repurposed ice bucket quality in. Here's the front door area and where you would drive in under the canopy there. A sign desk clerk in the laundry room please come around the corner again there's more keys here here's even a look at the rooms you can still see the same wallpaper border they even have some of them with kitchenettes and across the street they have what are appear to be little cabins or bungalows so I'll try and get a peek at those two before we leave. Not sure why I shut down, just guessing, you know, decline in business. But uh, let's head outside now, we'll take a little bit more look at it from the outside and wrap it up shortly after that. So here's a look from the roadside where you would enter. There's a for sale sign there. And here is where you would pull into get your room. The old sign's still there and everything. Got a vehicle coming. But let's wait till they pass. How you doing? Yeah. Just taking pictures of it. I saw it. You what? Just taking pictures of it from the outside of it. Oh, okay. I saw it was abandoned, so it just looked pretty neat. I like to photo photograph things like that. And oh, stuff. it's not abandoned. We're working on it. All right. Yeah, we're going to make condos out of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just uh, stopped during the winter. We started back. We got one building down on the way. All right, so the gentleman in the pickup truck said that there are plans to turn this property into condos. They said they're actually currently working on it, which I'm not sure if it's believable or not because I don't see any type of construction being done, but. He did say that is the plans for this, that they're going to have uh, 
roughly 100 condos or so. But you can see in the background too, there's some more of the hotel property, or I should say motel property. But yeah, I, I don't see them turning this into condo, especially in this area here. There's nothing really drawing people to it. But right across the street though, is those little bungalows or cabins I was telling you about. I'm not gonna go over there. It does look like someone is possibly living in them. There's a lot of contents left outside. So I'm not gonna go snooping around, especially when I'm out of my element here in down in Alabama. But that is a look at it though. So pretty interesting. Not very exciting, but this is just one of many locations that we drove past on our way down here. So we're on our way back now towards Tennessee and figure we'd stop and check it out. So with that said, I'll peek around and see if there's anything else to uh, check out here. If not, we'll wrap up the video. Now one thing I spot that's pretty cool is right behind the motel here is an underground bunker. Look at this. It's almost like a bomb shelter. So we'll take a quick peek inside here. Looks like it's made of solid concrete. And they had electricity in here. You can see the light fixtures. Well, yeah, it's like a, a maintenance room. They have uncut keys there, vacuum, toilets, just missing any of this stuff. Yeah, it's like an underground bunker or like, um, like a bomb shelter. Quite strange. There's even brand new garbage cans right there in that bag. Huh. Didn't expect to find this. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the look at this abandoned motel sitting here in Alabama. Nothing too exciting, not a whole lot of contents left behind, but we did see the office there and the living quarters and this little bomb shelter here, which was pretty neat. So comments, questions, or thoughts, make sure you leave them down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell to be alerted for new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.